weather's clear in Kansas. That's it, huh? Yeah. Wow. What do you know how long that's been abandoned for? I don't know. The only tenant left is Fitness Connection. And they took over on a, an old apartment store. Wow. That's too bad. Like this guy, he should be the he's the office in the wrong lane, huh? Yeah, he's wrong lane. So you don't think you'd rather, you'd rather move to San Antonio? I mean, not San Antonio, but uh, yeah, San Antonio, where your, your buddy lives, AJ. I'd rather move in between like Houston and San Antonio. Yeah. Yeah. What's What's different about San Antonio and Houston? You think? It's just a different. You know, that's the thing is like cities in Texas have different vibes. Uh huh. And you know, San Antonio is, you know real laid back uh, yeah you know different different part of the country you know they're more hill country uh, you know it's just a more open area yeah now what do you think is more of uh, country western texas or eastern texas uh east east texas is probably way more country is it really i think my friends from is there a place called atlanta texas yeah and that's real country? Huh? Is that real country? Real country? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah out there it's like pine trees. And really? Not the mud pine trees. Nice. It's not that far from the border. Oh, they have an air in here too, huh? Wow. Public storage is all over the place. Drive time. Yeah, don't worry. What, we're, what, we're, what I'm saying is I'm going to take it off because of the music. So I'll have to add different music for Scrub it music on. Yeah, to re-edit, put my own music on. It's gotta be non-copyright music, otherwise I don't make any money off the bid. So Not the G spot, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I see a lot of uh, a lot of people have got um, trucks and they got beat up ass cars like they got rear end by a truck. Yeah. You know, that's from guy goes from Louisiana, poor guy. Yeah, there's a lot of that, and then a lot of paper plates. You'll see really? Paper plates. Yeah. Like this guy's got a paper plate. It's obviously a used vehicle. What the hell? Well, and they're, uh, you know, sometimes, most of them are fake. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Damn. So they just use that fake stuff, huh? Oh, yeah. Really? Did they get pulled over by the cops? As long as they're, like, doing a fraction or something? It's such a... It's such a big problem that yeah. they 
almost can't combat the amount of people that do it. <laughs> really? Yeah, wow. they can't get a vehicle registered. Holy shit. This guy's fucking crazy, man. They can't get a vehicle registered or, you know, whatever yeah. nefarious reason for getting yeah. a paper tag. And yeah, I hear you. So they, there are businesses out there that, that will do that. They do it, huh? So Houston's pretty big because we're still on the north side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely the north side. Yeah. Wow. I guess the south side's like the more of a ghetto side, or a lot of areas on the. You yeah. know, it depends. Like everything, like inner city, north and south, is yeah. pretty ghetto, except yeah. for like. It's weird because Houston is the most unique city in the fact that. It's kind of like, you know how New York, they talk about everything by boroughs? Yeah. You know, so like New York has the five boroughs, so it's like, right. you know, if you're in Harlem, you're in the ghetto. Yeah. And if you're in, you know, the Upper East Side, that's luxurious and all that. Yeah. Well, Houston is kind of broken up the same way into different areas. Uh -huh. So like, the Heights is in like mid town, so it's you know, north of downtown, but it's a nice area. Yeah. Everything around the Heights is, you know, in, in like the fourth ward and all that, like, uh -huh. and it's ghetto and trashy, you know, like this area is ghetto and trashy, but little there's little areas and pockets of like nice areas, and they're almost like their own community because they'll have clubs, they'll have grocery stores, they'll have, you know, everything to make that thing kind of like its own little bubble. Okay. Just like the Woodlands, you know, the Woodlands is a really nice area and yeah. it's a pocket within, you know, on the north side of Houston, yeah. you know, and then, you know, like then you go into South Houston and around Hobby Airport is a shithole, but then you go a little bit further and then, you know, you get more coastal communities and that are nice and, you know, so it, it's, it's weird because, it, you know, there's just pockets of different influence. Yeah. And where do the um, like the Latinos or Hispanic people usually live? Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. It's like it's kind of like in LA. Yeah. And how, how about the blacks? Where do they mostly live? Same. Same here. I mean, it, it's you know kind of the you know your your income kind of depends on where you're living here, you know. I mean, obviously, if you're a more affluent uh, minority, you're going to live in the nicer area and you're going to get out of the hood. And whereas people that live down here are going to be just broke, you know. Gotcha. Makes sense. Oh, I can see the skyline. Yeah. Probably be easier to see if it was in the cloudy day, huh? Oh, absolutely. But it's not like this all the time, though, is it? No. And water burgers are all over the place, huh? Oh, yeah. I guess it's kind of like in and out, they're all over. So the area codes in Houston are 832. What else? Uh, oh, there's a shit ton. 972 uh, is what? Mostly Dallas or what? I have no idea. Oh. Okay. 832, 281. 281, yeah, that's right. 713. 7, yeah, 713 is a big one too. Oh, wow, that's right now. Oh, wow. Oh, it used to be a night over. spot, huh? Uh. No, it's been abandoned for a long time, but yeah. 
there have been a couple people that were trying to do uh, stuff with that. I got an old hist a lot of old history in that place, huh? Yeah. Weekly special. Now that was only a place that would be very accommodating. <laughs> right? You're into a certain lifestyle. And <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I can't actually believe someone did a re a remake of Careless Whisper. Yeah. George Michael would be very proud. A Wham would be very proud. Right. Yeah, he's dead, but you know. Damn. So we're coming up to the Houston downtown. San Antonio, Beaumont. How's Beaumont? Uh, it's a shithole. <laughs> really? Yeah. What about Waco? Uh, it's really nice. It's really nice? Yeah. Yeah? That's where they got Bayer University? Huh? That's where the Bayer University is, right? Is it Bayer? Is that what they call it? Baylor? Ba yeah, Baylor, right? Yeah. Is it Baylor? I'm not sure. Yeah. Click it or tick it, huh? It's like looking at different city skylines, you know, to compare a little bit.
way, but yeah. So Houston's the same way. I mean, we were built gotcha. on many bubbles and different gotcha. areas, so there's not a there's not reasons to go to some places. Not because they're not desirable or anything, but it's like it's based if I come yeah. down here and I drink. I have to get a hotel, but I'm also off downtown, and then that means I got to pay for parking. I've got to, yeah. you know, it just, you know, right. And I drive a big truck, so you know, trying to park and all that in a downtown area is not ideal. Right, right, gotcha. This is a hotel or apartment building. That's apartment. Okay. Yeah, it's like people that live on the west side of the 405 freeway, like like Santa Monica, Mar Vista, uh, sometimes Pacific Palisades. A lot of them don't come east of the 405. They yeah. will not, you know, because there's so many spots that are on the beach side, you know. So I understand, yeah, it's the same way. That's why I was asking, just, just, oh, just yeah. a general question, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's why I was, you know, it's like, it's just one of those things that, yeah, when you get accustomed to an area, it's like, man, I, I don't ever, yeah, I would never find myself really down here. Yeah. Well, Not only that, but the yeah. amount of traffic and everything else, I mean, it's, yeah. And you gotta think Houston is massive, so like that's downtown, and like Minute Maid Park is there, but Reliant Stadium is down that way. Uh -huh. Like, it's just, you know, there's so much traffic in there. It's, Everything's you know, you really out. have to plan things out because, I mean, you could be an hour to two hours away from something and still in the same city. Right. That's how big Houston is. Yeah. I think that's why my friend probably hasn't contacted me because he's down in the south part of Houston. Yeah, yeah. So. And then look at look at the traffic going back. Looks yeah, like that's crazy. Go get in. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? Wow, it looks like it's heavier than going down, huh? Oh, yeah.
So there's actually a Hilton right down there, huh? anything to come to Houston, huh? No. There's the George, what was it, P. Brown Convention Center? George R. Brown. Oh, George R. Brown, okay. And who's that? Uh, former mayor, I think. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I think it would be kind of hard following you around. <laughs> you're, well, a quick, you're a fast driver, man. Yeah. And you're used to driving a truck, so it's like... <laughs> well, here you have to, I mean, everything's so spread out. I mean, yeah. it's like, there's a soccer stadium over there. Oh, there is a PNC stadium? Yeah. Nice. And then Minute Bay Park is right there. Well, that's Minute Bay Park, huh? And who plays there? The Astros. The Astros? Okay. Gotcha. See, they got the banners. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. The roof is closed today. Yeah. Because of the rain. I believe we were the first ones to have a retractable roof in uh, baseball. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Very good to know. Traffic doesn't seem too bad here, huh? Huh? Actually, traffic doesn't seem bad in the 59? No. No, that's not bad. This takes us right out to George Bush? Uh, it's one It's one way to get. Uh, 59 runs north and south, and so does 45. And then okay. Bush is kind of in the middle. Gotcha. So it's a little out of the way, but. Is it? Okay. Oh yeah, thanks man. I really appreciate it, man. I didn't think we were gonna have time for it. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I didn't need to walk around. I just wanted to kind of just film the downtown skyline stuff. But appreciate it, man. This goes all the way out to Cleveland, huh? Oh, this goes.